Hello guys, welcome back to Kosi's Asno Podcast. My name is Kosi. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm sorry I can't do the live streams today. Internet is so shaky. Uh, I think it's because of the rain. It's been raining almost all day. But I think I'll try tomorrow. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do the predicted lineup live and all those things live. But today, uh, it's practically impossible. I'm here because we're going to talk about the two strikers that have been three strikers actually that have been linked with Arsenal today and we are going to try to look at what is on the table who will Arsenal go for uh who should Arsenal go for and this is where I want your opinions by the way um is it I've you know is it Ivan Tony is it Olsen Edward or is it Kun Aguero smash the like button people get your you know get your subscriptions in I would like to know your comments on that one is it Ivan Tony is it Olsen Edward? Is it Kun Aguero? At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you why I think Aguero is not the perfect striker. However much he's scored five, uh, he's, he's scored 20 plus goals in five consecutive Premier League seasons at Manchester City. You know, I, I, I might sound a little bit crazy, but I believe he's not the right striker. But let's get the party started. And I'll start with um, Ivan Tony. Now, Tony has been in the news, I think, for... Should I say um, the past five five months uh, linked with us? No, he was linked with us no, there in December and January, and then the story never you know came came through, and I was like, okay. Uh, so I I tried to look out for even Tony. Who is he? Um, you know what kind of striker is he? And look, the truth is, I'm amazed by the numbers of this guy. He scored um, 29 goals in 39 appearances in the Championship for Brentford this season. He has actually managed 39 goal involvements this season um, in 39 games because he scored 29 and assisted 10 times. That is brilliant. I, I, there is no Arsenal player, of course, with all due respect that Brentford, uh, Brentford is Brentford and Brentford is playing in the championship, uh, which is uh, a, a lower league. But there is no Arsenal player in the past years that has had such a record. 29 goals in 39 games and 10 assists. This is, is promising. It's promising. But, of course, there are so many questions about that. Of course, uh, today, uh, you know, reports have indicated that Arsenal are interested uh, in, uh, in even Tony. And I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, how good is this guy? Probably, if we went for him, how good would he be but the numbers speak for themselves and and, and you know th those people out there that, that that love the numbers yeah he's the man of his numbers actually if you look at you know if you look at this season and last season him Oton edward are a little bit um you know ahead of aguero and and, and the reason there is um aguero is aging he's not getting a lot of game time at at, at manchester city uh so it's only fair to say even tony is 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 is, is in the same league as Oton Edward, but not in the same league as as as, as Kun Aguero. But what do you think about Evan Tony? He's playing for Brentford, the Championship. Uh, probably he would be a little bit cheaper, um, yeah, as compared to Aguero in terms of wages. Of course, Aguero would sign as a, as a free agent, but in terms of wages, uh, also and 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 Evan Tony would be a little bit cheaper as compared to um as as compared to Aguero because you you know you, you might need to spend around uh, ten million annually on on, on 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 Aguero's wages, which is um for me overwhelming for us now. Now the other story we have is um Olsen Edward. Um Arsenal could be set to pay just fifteen million. That has been spoken, but it looks like Celtic about to agree. But the problem there is so, you know, Leicester City is now interested. And of course, uh, you know how legitimate uh, you know, is. You know, it is when we say uh, Leicester City are looking for a striker. I don't think Kalichi Inacho is that, you know, is that caliber of a striker to replace uh, Jami Vardy. He's a good striker. We've seen him at Manchester City. Um, and you, you know, you, 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 you're just going to get convinced that you know, probably he's that kind of striker that, uh, you know, uh, you know, a mid-table team should go for. But recently, the ambitions, okay, the level of, 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 of achievement of Leicester City has a little bit elevated from mid-table to constantly finishing at least in the top five or top six. So that means they need a serious striker and they're looking at Oton Edward. Um, 
if you, you know in terms of money i think arsenal can pay the 15 million leicester city can pay the 15 million in terms of um, where the player would want to play football um, i don't know because leicester city are looking like um they decide that is either going to get a uh, europa league football arsenal may not even get europa league football the player would want to play or you know at least in champions league or the worst at least um should be europa league so probably uh leicester city in you know in terms of you know playing on europe they have an advantage over the player uh but i, I think you know the pedigree and reputation probably arsenal you know have um you know could be some of the things we use uh you know to go for the signature of um you know the man himself uh Oldson, um edward 15 million pounds that's a very good deal he's in the last year of his contract um arsenal should be doing such deals we have said it before and i'll say it again arsenal need to do such deals what do you think do you think arsenal um will sign Oldson edward if you feel it's a good deal smash the like button and tell me yes because he is a good deal if you feel ivan tony should be the player that we go for smash the like button and tell me the comment that because ivan tony is um the player we should be going for now again um you've been linked with sagi aguero together with chelsea these days um as soon as arsenal is linked with the player there is a, you know there's a chelsea uh deal with them you remember he's lingard now aguero but um, they're saying that uh, chelsea is leading the race uh for kuna aguero however arsenal are also very very keen uh on getting the the signature of Kun aguero now when, when i look at aguero as, as as a player i'm attracted these you know his numbers are, are just you know are attractive because look uh, in the 2021 season which you know the season in, in, in which we are um he scored only one goal in nine matches um last season he scored 16 goals in 24 games that is unprecedented that is so good that means he m almost managed a game a goal per game um consistently for 16 matches um actually i think um his xg would be at around 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 which is um you know very fantastic um in the 2019 season he managed 21 goals uh, in 33 appearances um, in 2018. He scored 21 goals in 25 games. That is again unprecedented. That means um, his XG rises until um, around 0.9 or, or, or around, okay, 9.9 or 0.95. Um, in 2017, he scored 20 goals in 31, uh, you know, 20 goals in 31 appearances, 24 goals in 30 appearances in 2016. So you can see he is a striker who's gonna give you those goals consistently so he scored 20 plus goals um you know in four in five consistent you know in, in five consistent uh you know you know uh you know seasons for, for manchester city so he's a very very good striker but you know with aguero now you have to put many things into consideration the age what he offers now uh what he's capable of offering the the salary the wages and the fact that he has been at city before and the fact that he's in you know he's, he's he's going to stay in the premier league where now he's going you know he's getting injured it's a rough league and you know you know age and and, and injuries and, and and the pace they do not actually match in that you know in the premier league but um my honest opinion like i thought i don't think aguero should be the striker arsenal go for now i don't think arsenal you know should go for aguero uh the wages the injury uh the record now I think Aguero needs to go for uh, deals like Barcelona. You know, I, I would agree. I, I love Barcelona and I, I do support them in Spain. But I just, I just think if you went to Barcelona, it's going to bang in some, you know, some goals, 15 goals per season uh, for three or, or for two consecutive seasons. And then, you know, he sees, you know, he sees himself off. But if he, you know, if he comes to Arsenal, there's pressure there. We are, we are underperforming. We need someone who's going to consistently perform. For me, that is not that is not um kun aguero Oton edward for me would be the better choice um i think 15 million pounds then you bring him in the premier league try to nurture him for for one for, for one season and then the next season he's up and running so i'll go for Oton edward um as the better player but of course ian tony um is uh, ivan tony sorry is another one is another player with fantastic fabulous statistics i've not seen a player um recently with such statistics 19 you know 29 goals in 39 appearances with 10 assists that means in every game he contributes to a goal scoring action you know he's either giving you that assist or he's scoring a goal um, and, and that is really really brilliant so uh, brentford must be very lucky when they lost uh said ben rama 
you know you, you could fear for them you, you, you could just fear for them but you know just imagine how you know good this guy has been so 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 good for them um so that is um the striking situation arsenal looks like like i said could live in the summer and those are the three players we are looking at as a replacement smash the like button get your subscriptions in you could sp support me by buying a super chat or anything you want um i'll see you soon in the match preview arsenal against slavia praha coming up next